Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part 12 in creating a hash table project in C++. So I thought I was going to be done with part 11, but then after watching uh, all of the tutorials I've done on hash table so far, I realized that I have not provided you guys with any type of function that can search through the hash table and find an associated value. So I'm going to do that in this video, so that way you guys have that information as well. So in our hash.h file here, I'm going to create another function prototype in the public section of the class definition. And so it's not going to return anything, so we'll just put a void return type. And we're going to just go ahead and name this function find drink, and it will take a string variable called name. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and uh, it will take somebody's name as input, and then it will determine whether or not that person's name is in the hash table and if that person's name is in the hash table it will return that person's drink back to us so that's what that function is going to do so let's go ahead and define it now in the hash.cpp file so once again it's a void return type and we're defining this from the hash class so we do hash colon colon and it's the find drink function there so now that we've got that set up let's go ahead and just define this function inside of these curly braces here so the first thing that we're going to want to have is an integer variable and we'll just call that index or you could call it bucket if you want and we're going to figure out what bucket that name and drink would be stored in if it was in the hash table so the way we do that is we just pass in that name since the name is the key to our hash table we pass that name into the hash function and that will return the bucket that we need to search for that information in so the bucket that that name would be in if it is in the hash table is going to be held inside of this index variable now so now that we've got that saved we're going to create a boolean variable keep wanting to type in cool It'd be kinda neat if they had a cool variable type so we want a boolean variable and we're gonna call this one found name and at the beginning we're just going to say that uh, we have not found the name so found name is false and then we're gonna want to do a string variable and we're just gonna call that drink and so then what we're going to do is just create an item pointer and we'll just call that PTR for pointer and make it point to that first item in uh, whatever bucket we're looking in in the hash table and so we do that by saying item star PTR equals hash table and then the index for the bucket that we're looking for so index this number right here this bucket was was found by just simply calling the hash function with the key that was passed in so we find out what bucket it would be stored in and then here we're looking in that bucket and uh, we're just making this pointer point to that first item in the bucket right here so that pointer is pointing to the first item in the bucket now and so then we just want to make this pointer kind of just scan the entire list and if it finds the name that we're looking for then it will pull out that associated drink so we're going to say while PTR is not equal to null so that means it's pointing to some item so as long as our pointer is pointing to some item we want that pointer to do the following logic if the current item that the PTR pointer is pointing to if the name value in that is equal to the name that we're passing in then we're going to go ahead and just grab the associated drink value so we're going to we're going to mark that we found a match so now found name which once was false up above is going to become true if this happens and then drink the drink variable up here is now going to be set and it was it's basically just going to grab the uh, drink information that's inside of this item now that has the the matching name so we just say that the drink variable is now equal to the drink variable that's inside that item that pointer is pointing to so we just type in drink to do that so now the drink variable is equal to whatever drink variable is inside the current item being pointed to so every time we finish that if statement then we just go ahead and move our pointer down to the next item in the list by saying ptr equals ptr arrow next 
And then that's inside a while loop. So we just keep on doing this. We keep moving our pointer to the next item in the list until our pointer is passed through the entire list and then is no longer pointing to anything. So once we've passed through the whole list, if the matching name was found, then we're going to grab the drink information from that item. And uh, once we've passed through the whole list, we'll exit out of this while loop. And then at that point, let's go ahead and check if we have found the name or not. So we'll just go ahead and say if found name is true. So this is the case where we have found the name somewhere in that list of items inside that bucket. So if we have found it, then we can just do a print statement to the screen and we can just say what the favorite drink is of that person. So we'll just put favorite drink, we'll just put equals, and then we'll just print the value that's held in that drink variable. That's where we stored the information. And then we'll just go ahead and do a new line to the screen. So that's the case if we found the drink in the list. So on the other hand, if found name is still false, that means that the uh, name we're looking for wasn't in our hash table. So we're going to take care of that in this else statement here. And so the way we do that is we'll just do another see out statement. And this time we'll just say name. And then we'll put names. So names info. So if we passed in something like um, Larry, we could, it would say Larry's info was not found in the hash table. So that's what's going to happen if the name is not in the hash table. We'll just do a new line there. So we've got these two conditions now. So either we're going to find the name somewhere in the hash value and we'll print out their favorite drink, or we won't find the name and then we'll print out that that name was not found in the hash table. So now let's go to our main.cpp file here. And we don't really need to print the table anymore since we're just going to be looking for an individual person. So what we'll do here is up here at the top, we'll define um, another variable. And so this variable is going to be a string variable and we'll just call it name. And this is going to store the name of the person we're looking for. And initially, let's go ahead and just give that a value of just an empty string here. So now down below here, I'm just going to write a while loop here and I'm going to say as long as name is not equal to exit then we're just going to kind of make it loop through this so we can keep entering people's names over and over again until we want to to quit the program and we can quit the program by typing in exit and then we'll just have something print to the screen that says search for and then we can type in who we want it to search for and then we'll grab the information that they want to search for from the keyboard and we'll store that in the variable name that we created up above. And then as long as name is not equal to exit, then we'll just go ahead and call that uh, function that we just created. So we use our hash class object, which is hashy dot find drink. And then we enter, for the name, we're just going to enter whatever name person entered from the keyboard. So now when we run this, it should search for whoever we want. So let's just go ahead and uh, run it and see what happens here. So now I can just type in my name, Paul. So we already know that I'm in the hash table. Let's go ahead and do that. So it says my favorite drink is a loca, so that's correct. See Mike was another person in the hash table. Let's see if it finds his favorite drink. So it goes and it finds his favorite drink right there. And then we can search for somebody that's not in the list. So somebody that's not in the list, we don't have a Charlie in the list. So it says Charlie's info was not found in the hash table. And let's see, another person that was in there was Steve. And Steve's favorite drink was apple cider. And then we can just type in exit if we want to quit the program now. So now it says press enter to close the terminal. I'll press enter and it closes. So now you guys have a function that you can use to just go ahead and search for this specific key and then if that information is inside the hash table it will tell you what the associated information is with that key. 
Otherwise, it will say that it, that information was not found in the hash table if it's not there. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think about this video in the comments. Um, I read all the comments that you guys uh, write. I don't always have time to respond to everything. But uh, feel free to just leave comments and let me know what other things you want me to cover. And when I get time, I will try to cover the things that you guys want me to cover. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.